Hi there guys, my name is Richard McMunn from the company HowToBecome.com and in this video I'm going to give you a sample IQ test. So it's sample IQ test number one. There are five questions and answers to help you prepare for any IQ test. Now, how to take this test? Well, first of all, I'm going to read out the questions to you during the video. So don't stop it, please do it in real time. Second part, please take notes using a pen and paper. So you can do your calculations using a pen and paper, but please, calculators are not permitted. Number three, you will have 20 seconds only to answer each question. So you're gonna to have to move really quickly. So I'll just give you 20 questions before moving on to the next one. So like I say, don't pause the video, do it in real time. I will read out the answers at the end of the video. Now during the presentation, I'm going to disclose a place where you can go to where you can get free access to hundreds of more IQ and aptitude tests. So stick around for that. And like I say, if you've got a pen and paper, then I will tell you exactly where to go. There's no charge for them whatsoever. All of our training is free. Okay, let's get straight into it. Make sure you've got a pen and paper. And here is the first question. Question number one. How many number fives are there between one and 100? So how many number fives are there between one and 100? You've got 20 seconds to answer that question. So how many number fives are there between one and 100? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Question number two, what is 40% of 190? What is 40% of 190? So what is 40% of 190? Okay, moving on to question number three. A family are on their way to Thorpe Park. They spend one and a quarter hours driving there. They spend six and a half hours at Thorpe Park. They then spend two and a quarter hours driving home. How much time is spent driving to and from Thorpe Park, including the hours they were there for? Okay, so I'll repeat that question. A family are on their way to Thorpe Park. They spend one and a quarter hours driving there. They spend six and a half hours at Thorpe Park and they then spend two and a quarter hours driving home. How much time is spent driving to and from Thorpe Park, including the hours they were there? So we're looking for the entire hours from the time they set off to the time they get home. You've got 20, 20 seconds to answer that. Okay, so moving on to the next question, question number four. Now look carefully for the pattern in the numbers and then choose which pair of numbers from A to D comes next. So the pattern is 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and then we're looking for the next two numbers in the sequence. We've got 20 seconds. So you're looking carefully for the pattern and then choose which pair of numbers come next. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17. And the options are A, 18 or 19, B, 19 or 21, C, 19 or 20, or D, 21 and 23. Okay, next question. Question five, which is the missing piece? Okay, so you need to look at the um, squares, the squares within the full square, and decide from A, B, C or D which pattern comes next. From the choices you have 20 seconds to answer the question. So which is the missing piece from the one there on the screen? A, B, C or D? Okay, let's take a look at the answers. Don't forget, stick around because I'm going to tell you where you can get hundreds of these sample questions for free. Question number one, how many fives are there between one and 100? And the answer is 20. So I hope you got that correct. That kind of question is where you have to work really quickly. It's not too difficult, but you have to count the fives. So five is the first one, 15 is the second, 25 is the third, 35 is the fourth, 45. And then there's 50, 51, 52, 53. There's two in 55 and so on and so forth. So if you've got any answer different to the one that I've got, please put it below in the um, responses section 
but the correct number is 20. Question number two, what is 40% of 190? And the answer is 76. So the best way to work that out is work out what's 10% of 190, which is 19, and then multiply that by 4, and that will give you the answer 76. So 40% of 190 is 76. Question number three, the family were on their way to Thorpe Park, so they spent one and a quarter hours driving there. They spent six and a half hours at Thorpe Park. They then spent two and a quarter driving back. How much time in total is spent driving to and from the park, including the hours they were there for? And the answer is 10. So hopefully you got that correct, 10 hours. So looking carefully at the pattern, then choose which pair of numbers come next. Well, you'll notice that the sequence is going up okay each time and what number is it going up by well you'll see there 5 and 7 from 7 to 9 9 to 11 11 to 13 13 to 15 15 to 17 it's going up two each time so it's quite simple so the correct answer is b which is 19 and then 21 okay so again if you've got anything different please put it in the uh, question the comments box below the video question number five which is the missing piece from a b c or d and the correct answer is b because if you look at the first one in the top left, you'll see that the square is in the top right hand corner. And then if you move over to the second one, it's moving down to the bottom right. So it's actually moving around clockwise each time so we get to the bottom, which means it needs to be in the top right because that one there is in the um, in the top left. So they're moving around clockwise each time as they go along. So like I say, these questions are great for practicing IQ and aptitude tests. And we've got loads of variations for you to try. So all you need to do to get more free tests is, first of all, like the video. Please like it. Subscribe to the channel because then we'll update you on more free gifts and things that we're going to send to you. Like I said, there's no charge whatsoever, but to get straight access to more tests. And so you can start within 10 seconds. Click the link below the video to get free access to hundreds of online IQ and aptitude tests. Like I say, my name's been Richard McMahon. Thank you very much for watching. and I wish you all the very best in your pursuit to passing your IQ and aptitude test.